sisters and Mary. And Amma. And we about to have to like. Share. Subscribe. And comment. Down below, you guys, today we are talking about LeBron James being the lead time scorer of all time. You all, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I am so proud. I am so proud of you, LeBron James. Yes. I have been watching you for so long, like yes. your entire career. And I mean, just seeing you grow, um, seeing the kind of player that you are, being a team first player, being like trying to assist, trying to make others in your team better. Yeah. You know, um, and willing to sacrifice your own points for getting your teammates involved in the game. Like, I just really admire you. And I have used so many things that you have done, said, in, you know, raising my own children. I know you the know, life lessons we've learned through you, LeBron James. <laughs> yes, like you have been such an inspiration. The fact that you came from a single mom yeah. who had you when she was 16. Like, and you made such it. such a blessing. You know, you, you were a blessing to her. She was a blessing to you. But she did have men in your life in terms of coaches, you know, and stuff like that. The fact that you are a husband, that's so inspiring. The fact that your, your wife, sometimes when she talks about you, she, she cries. You know, that's how you know that the woman really loves this man. And you, you know, know that he's doing the right thing you know by that her. He's, doing the he's right treating thing. her right. Exactly. So the kind of husband you are, the kind of father you are, you're not just father to your um, three kids, your three children. Yeah. But the fact that you have the I Promise School gave your phone number, cell phone number to single mothers to call you if they're having problems with their children. So I mean, that is such a sacrifice because yeah. you have stuff that you're doing. But to be able to reach out, you know, and never forget where you, you know, where you came from. Yeah. I came from a single mom. I know what the struggle is. I appreciate the struggle. Yeah. And then going out and reaching out to single moms to assist them. Just like those coaches in your life assisted you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing. Um, I love the fact that you really are about not just the history of the game, but about just your history yeah. and like your mom's history. And you, uh, and you learn from them. You live your life according to those history lessons that you've got. Your history, your mom's, her story, right? Yeah. You look at that and you don't forget it. And it comes with you as you navigate, as you've navigated through life, you know? Yeah. Um, I really appreciate that. Because if yeah. you can't learn lessons from her story or his story, right? Yeah. Then what, what was the purpose? Yeah. You know? So I really appreciate that. I just love the way you take care of your teammates. Anyone who plays with you becomes better. Yeah. And they're able to like leave your team, whatever team you had, and go to another team and get paid even more because they played yeah. with LeBron. Yeah. You know, and, and they know and that, that he's gonna always make all his players all of the people on his team better. So absolutely. automatically yeah. they're gonna get better. I feel like that's what is really is a leader. That's the meaning that's of a, a man. That's someone who exactly. is able to be selfless yes. and see the bigger picture. And yeah. that's like That's legacy like, as well. That is legacy. Like you're creating legacy yeah, for absolutely. even some of your teammates because when they leave your team or whatever, they're going to go with that same mindset exactly. and they're going to want to also help and uplift. So it's yeah. not like you're just influencing the game of basketball, but you're also touching these people individually yeah, yeah, in their yeah, lives. Yeah. And I feel like that what really makes an amazing person not like just in what they do but just like as a human being they are. exactly like just all the things exactly. he's done like he just has really yeah. has had a major influence yeah. like i feel like it's even, like god blessed him and you get to use the blessing and, of people. and he he takes it on and says yeah. you know he blessed me with so much yeah and so i must give so much yeah you know what i'm saying it's like and your story is so amazingly fantastic
Yeah. Because you took the gift that God gave you, and it's like you have like quadrupled it, you've multiplied it over and over again, which reminds me of that manna in the Bible. Yeah. Where, you know, they it was like the manna was just there, right? They could eat and eat and eat for days. Yeah. Or like when, you know, Jesus had the five, what, what was it, five fish and then a loaf of bread, but he was able to feed the multitude, you know? Yeah. And you wonder, well, how do you do that with the fish and, the, and this limited amount of bread? But that's what you have done. Yeah. You've taken the gift that God gave you and you have multiplied it. And in doing so, you have taught those who've watched you. Like we've seen NBA players, you know, even the young ones, they go, they're getting married. I know, Anthony Davis getting married. I think it's married. such a beautiful thing. Kyrie Irving, oh, exactly. are they married or is he married? I think theirs is probably a spiritual marriage or maybe they're married, but I think they're married now. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like you have inspired a generation. Yeah. You have inspired men to take up the mantle and be a man. You've shown them the blueprint. Without you having to buck up your chest and say, I'm the man, I'm an alpha, I'm this, I'm that. You yeah. just have actually just been a man. You've like you have actually that. proven it with just your actions. That. Exactly. And it's beautiful to see that, you know, it's really not just he's a phenomenal person, like a phenomenal athlete, but he's just yeah. a phenomenal person, a phenomenal husband, a phenomenal son, a phenomenal yeah. father. Yeah. Like all of those, a phenomenal, a phenomenal example. mentor, teacher, yeah, all absolutely. of that. Absolutely. And a There's great more, teammate. Much more. Much more. The than basketball. An athlete. Yeah, way more. You know, so, and, and the, the, the guys that you were teammates with when you were younger, yeah. You've taken them on this journey. They have all made money, right? So it's not like someone who is down here. Like I, I've seen some athletes who they have these yes men around them who don't have any money. Yeah. And then you wonder why people are betraying you. And remember what because he did with his Because you don't first uplift teammates. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like. And even when he was just starting out, you know, yeah. that he was supposed to go to this college, he was like, no, I want my yeah. friends to come with me. The high and, school. Yeah. yeah. And then even when he him. made it, he gave yeah. them all money and all yeah. this stuff, made yeah. sure that they were set up. They were okay. And like they he's, were, he's, they, they all work with him. And yeah. But they're, they're, they're their own, like, rich. Person. rich. Yeah. They have their own fund. Yeah, they, they have their own their business. Own, they're yeah. all millionaires. They were on their own exactly and it's just a beautiful thing to see yeah and for him to be blessed to have that it's like god gave him he knew that his life was going to be he'll have a lot on his shoulders yeah and he gave him this childhood sweetheart yeah who will be with you through this journey and she was all there your all life. the and beginning so that's what is so beautiful about it yeah and then you have your two sons who are in basketball and yeah. i just know that god will allow you to see them and you'll yeah. be able to play with them because that's like yeah. your your one one of your main dreams was to see you play with your with your son yeah um brawny yeah but you know the way god works he probably will let you be able to play with both brawny and bryce yeah you know and the way you've been a father to them yeah you know you're going to their games yeah. You know, you're teaching other athletes how, yes, be Show involved your in your children's Show lives. Up. You know, you're there, you're pulling Bryce to the side and you're letting him know, hey, okay, you guys lost the game. Let me tell you the things that you did that were great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you are motivating them. Yeah. And yeah, 2016 was just so phenomenal. Like I have all the tapes that I, I used to until I moved here, but I to have America. every single videotape. Yeah. From Michael Jordan winning his first, all the way to current, I have the video. I have yeah. the video tapes of that, um, and just to see how when you guys were down three to one, yeah, like that year, I just knew you were not going to lose. Yeah. I just knew it that you were not going to lose, no matter what. Like I just kept the faith, and yes, I mean, and I knew you guys were going to come back for the first time. Yeah. That was history. Yeah, you made so much history, and you continue to do it's so. It's so beautiful, yeah. and it just shows to me when God gives you something, and you don't take it for granted, yeah. and the fact that you're so humble, you know, um, you've kept in perspective the history of the game, 
giving the praise to those who came before you, yeah. upon whose shoulders you're standing. You don't take that for granted. Yeah. You know? Um, so, yeah, I just really just love some LeBron James. You know, in my because opinion. Because in looking at him, yeah. I absolutely see God's love. Yeah. Just for humanity. Like, he has given us, all of us have gifts. Yeah, absolutely. Every single last one of us has a gift. And you have shown the blueprint of how not to take that gift for granted. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to me, I feel yeah. he is the greatest of all time. Absolutely. Just because of who he is. You I know what I'm saying? So. And I feel I like so. it actually does not even matter if he wins seven. Yeah. To me, I feel like he has made history. And he's already made so. a huge impact on this so. generation. Yeah. You know, in basketball, yeah. on... You know, it's business fellow teammates, wise, business for the wise, athletes, for the athletes. Know? Like, he's done so yeah. much yeah. just by being a good person yeah. and just living his truth and just living his yeah. blessings and his yeah. talents. And he made it okay. And how can the world do what he's you know, good at? Absolutely. Yeah. And he has made it okay for athletes to be able to... Stand up. Stand up, speak on social issues. Yeah. And also to be able to direct their own basketball life yeah if i want to move from this team i will yeah you know and he has shown how to do it he's never broken a contract yeah he stays his contract to the very end yeah and then he leaves but you, you know, know i feel like that so forces you to beautiful. be better because even Absolutely. if you're in a situation where you don't have teammates who are great or whatever yeah. you're forced to see it through because you know i'm yeah. not breaking contract i'm going yeah. to make the most out of this yeah and that's why they keep on saying he can take a home depot worker and make him into something he great really <laughs> <laughs> 2018 i was like i don't know what teammates these are oh lord uh, the fact that he even made it to the finals i was like yeah how you got here <laughs> He was Gladys Knight and the Pips for sure. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! But it was beautiful to yeah. see, and I'm so this this one that he broke, and I just love Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Like he is like my athlete crush. I know. Yeah, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hello, assalamualaikum, brother. <laughs> well, like, oh, okay. <laughs> I like, love you so. <laughs> like so, so that's not how we act. <laughs> But saying hello. Yeah. But, but yeah. He passed Kareem Abdul Jabbar and then they did this whole ceremony for him, which was so amazingly beautiful. Right there on the court. It was and he was crying. And you know what's you crazy? Know, when Kareem he, gave him that ball. I know. I think it just it moved his heart so much. He was so humble. I know. You know? And of course he said fuck. I mean, which I always say, don't say that. But I mean, just overwhelmed him. And then, and then I thought to myself, me, girl, with all the cursing you've been doing, just please hush your mouth. <laughs> no, but I saw okay, somebody say that, that oh, because I saw somebody write this whole Maybe it was me. No, it was a caption, and they were like, oh, um, it was some news article that said that um, LeBron wins the um, all-time score yeah. thing. And he um and that he applauds been held himself for nine years. Yeah, and yeah. he uh, was it he applauds himself by saying the F word or some stuff like that. I was like, child please, I yeah. probably would be cussing too if I was the I one know. who had won that like I so can't even believe it. Like he was what? Just like, Fuck man. Like, like he was just, just overwhelmed. Shocked. He was he So was. me honestly was Especially saying, he's a passer first. He's not a scorer. He has been a scorer because he has had to. Because of the teammates he has had. Child. He has had to be the scorer, but he's not a scorer first. Yeah. He's a passer first. He always plays the game the right way. Yeah. Makes the right play over and over, over and again, over again, regardless yeah. of Skip Bayless or anybody else. He does the right play yeah. each time. And sometimes it works, sometimes he doesn't. But like he said, you know, lose, win, or draw. Yeah. I am fine with it because I've given my best. He's just he's a and phenomenal he, person. Just a phenomenal yeah. man. It just And you know, I wanted to just say this. Just Michael no Ma Michael Magic Johnson made a comment that I remember when Beyonce won the Grammys mm -hmm. and, and she this this was like she she now stands alone as having the most Grammys. Yeah. And Magic Johnson made the comment that it, it was such a shame that she had such a big accomplishment yeah. and the Grammys didn't see fit to make some big thing for her 
where they could have, sh like, he, on the Jumbotron, when LeBron, you know, they had a ceremony for him yeah, that lasted, yeah, yeah. like, over five minutes. They, on the Jumbotron, you saw him and all the things that he did on the court. It would have been nice if they had had a Jumbotron of Beyonce before she went up, all the different things she's done. Right? My like, the songs is, and the different things from the very beginning. The thing is, the you Recording know? Academy is still mad at her for when she did those pro-black albums. Oh, that's you mean that's like what, the formation, the formation, and black, black is king. king. Yeah, that's, that's why. That's that's, that's what, what I honestly think. believe. But you know what I hope? I hope that BET or just you know people will just come together and do something for her. Remember when because BET a made fun of her daughter's hair? She has not been to a BET award since they made fun of her daughter's hair. They said they were the ones who did that. They said she needed to comb her daughter's um something something hair. You mean the hair like this on my head? Yeah, I, I, you don't even call me. Just use your fingers. It's so foolish. Yeah. Anything. So since then, she had not been to the BETs anything at I all. See, wow. But yeah, I think that that was such a big thing. My, Magic Johnson did call them out on it. Like, yeah, you guys should have celebrated her the way the basketball world celebrated the basketball world celebrated LeBron James. So well, I just wanted to say that LeBron, yeah. you have been an incredible, phenomenal person, and. To me, when I see you, I just see God's work in someone's life. Yeah. And it just inspires me yeah. that God is forever faithful. Yeah. He's forever faithful. And if you take what he gives you and uses it, and you use it to the best of your ability, and you don't take it for granted, he blesses you with things that, like, and I'm sure it surprises LeBron, all the accolades he receives. Yeah. But... God will take you like beyond yeah. your wildest dreams. Absolutely. And I've always believed that. So yeah. it's wonderful to see. Yeah. And just wanted to say thank you, LeBron yes. James. And thank you to Savannah and to Bronny, Bryce, and what's the little girl's name? Zu Zuri? Zuri. 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 Yeah. Um, yes, that's a South guys. African name, I do believe. But um, it's thank you guys so, so much for thank holding him so down yeah. and everything. Yeah, such a wonderful, example. beautiful family. You, you're beautiful, not not just for the black community, which you really are amazing yeah. example for the black community. Yeah. Um, you're also just beautiful for humanity. For humanity, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But you're definitely so just, more than an athlete. And we just wanted to say Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely, we just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. yeah, if my son was here, he'd probably be like, oh, uh, mom, mom, double yeah, she LeBron again. again. <laughs> All right, thank you, LeBron. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but thank yeah, you. but from Mary and Amma, thank yes. you, LeBron, for all of your wonderful... Just toiling, dating Just thank you. Out. Just thank you for inspiring, everything. Inspiring, you know, on the world stage. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's a Mary. And Amma. We invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and... Yes. Down below, what is your favorite moment that um, in history that LeBron has accomplished, has or what is your what are the best things yeah. that you love about this man? Yeah, let's yeah. just get real. Part. Let's just do a whole yes. thanks party down in the comments below for the goats. Yeah, yes. yes.